Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be updating your Mac, so let's get started. On the top left hand side of your screen, you're going to see the Apple logo. So that's right up here, top left hand side, just click on it. Then your second option will be System Preferences. Now before we used to do all our updates under the App Store, that's our third option. However, now we do them all here. So if you don't see any updates here, just go into your App Store, you might be back in an older Mac OS. So let's go into system preferences. Once we bring up system preferences down here below on the left hand side, we will see software update. So that's down here. Click on it. Once you click there, it's just going to check for updates. It should load up the latest update for your Mac. So here it is. Just in case if it didn't work for some reason, it didn't load anything. Just go back and open up system preferences again, and then it should finally open up. It's just a little glitch that happens sometimes with Macs. So right now we can see that this is the latest one. Just click on more info just to see what it's all about. And once we click there, we can see that it's only 5.71 gigs. So at this point, we can go ahead and install now. Now your Mac will restart and you will see an Apple logo plus a loading bar once it's done downloading and then when it's actually installing the update. However, when it's downloading, it's just gonna download. So right now we could just press down here below where it says install now, or we can always close this. And also update just on the top right hand corner of our screen, we're gonna see update now. We're gonna see this screen. It's gonna ask us to accept. So let's just scroll down a little bit, agree. And there we go. Right now it should be downloading. If you get another error or anything like that, just do it again, update again. Sometimes there's errors in the server itself for Apple because a lot of people are trying to run the update at the same time. So that's why it may not work right away. Don't worry about it, just try it out later on. Obviously you do need some time to download these almost six gigs. So make sure you have enough time. It all depends on your internet speed. If you want this process to go a little bit faster, yes, you could hook up your Mac directly to your router using an ethernet cable. At this point in time, we can just leave our Mac. Later on, it's gonna do a countdown or we can press install the update once it's done with the download. Now, something I forgot to mention before even getting started with the update would be to back up your Mac. And that's just in case something goes wrong. You don't wanna lose everything. So just use Time Machine that's on the top right hand side. You guys can go ahead and back up your entire Mac. Now that's something that's already built into your Mac. I have a video showing you guys how to use an external hard drive with Time Machine so you can back up everything. So just make sure to back up now and you should be fine in order to do this update. Now again, we only do that just in case something goes wrong and we need to fix our Mac. However, like I mentioned before, at this point in time, just let your Mac be. It's just gonna restart. We're gonna see an Apple logo a loading bar, and then finally we're gonna be done. After we see the Apple logo and a loading bar, which would take about an hour in total for the entire process to be at the downloading plus installation, then some of you might see this message popping up where you have some compatibility issues with some of your software. If you don't have this message, that's perfect, you shouldn't. So right now I will uninstall that, but I'll take a look at that later. Once we log back into our Mac, we're gonna see this message, software update, and we are all done. Our Mac is up to date. And that would be it for this video. Anyways, if you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.